Hello reformers and welcome to Fantasy Calradia 2018. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Oh, I'm actually really surprised. I literally got to this mod 30 minutes after it had been uploaded. I believe one of you actually let me know as well because if you saw my previous episodes of Fantasy Calradia, the one way back that was released in 2014, can you believe it's been three years? almost four years until you know since that was released crazy crazy anyway we're here in the new version if you want to download this new version it is right in the description go and pick it up show some support for the developer because that is fantastic really really fantastic that they were working on this for such a long period of time anyway let's start a new game and see what's going on i'm gonna bring back if i can Arcane Deathbloom, because he is the guy that started everything in the original Fantasy Cow Radio series, and then obviously we did have Veteran the Blessed, and that was more of a, you know, evil vanquishing character, but I think it's about time that we return to our roots of evil. <laughs> yes, kind of. Anyway. Please answer the following questions in order to create your main character. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's, that's, we're going to be a male. And he was, I believe, a drow. But you can be a gnome. You can actually be a gnome this time around. Shall we be a drow or a human? Let's be a drow. Why not? Okay. I'm I'm a bit, uh, a bit perplexed by this. I don't really want to be any of these. I'd like to be a, you know, mage, necromancer type thing. Anyway, traveling merchant, I suppose, would be the best. And uh, that, I guess, I don't know. Aha, we became a necromancer. Let's do it. Oh, lovely. Okay, so as you can see, there is a little bit of extra something something letting us know a little bit about the class. As a necromancer, you learned to manipulate the dead through hideous experiments so that they might follow your orders. Your ability over such illicit magic gives you unnerving capacity. Now is a good time to mention, selecting this class will make the hardest of all possible starts. You will be a pariah in almost all the map. What fuels your interest in becoming an adventurer is... Lust for money and power. Well, actually, no, it's not for money, but I like power, so let's go with that. You normally prefer to engage your enemies on foot. Alright, so there we go. We're going to bring back Arcane Deathbloom. I don't know how this is going to go. This is the first time I've actually started up the mod, so bear that in mind. But I have faith that the you know, mod creators know what they're doing, because obviously the original, the original, what is it now? The original, yeah, that's it, Fantasy Karate, which is absolutely fantastic. Can't believe I forgot it. Anyway, I'm going to be leveling up as much intelligence as I can get because we want as much necromancy as possible, as much magic power as possible, and as much magic defense as well. And of course, I do need to get a little bit in the way of pathfinding. So let's get another five points in that too. Now, bear in mind, I have no points in basically anything else. I mean, I have three in leadership, three in trade, pretty decent start, good amount of riding skill, some athletics, but nothing in Power strike, power throw, power draw. Unarmed combat. Ooh. Now that's interesting. That is, I think, probably one of the first mods that I've ever seen that has done a, a specialization for unarmed combat. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. Fantasy Karedi has always been about pushing the envelope just that little bit further and making things even more unique. So, let us continue. Alright, so it actually does not matter what he looks like, to be honest, because, I mean, you can see it's basically only the hair that is going to make any any difference. Wasn't Arc Arcane a human before, actually? Well, maybe I've, maybe I've completely messed it up now. Okay, let's go with that. Alright, so, where are we going to start? As far as I'm aware, the Undead Kingdom, which we might want to join initially, is in the Saranid Sultanate. So, well, it's nearby there. So let's go and do that. Take a nice long walk around Cherise. Okay. Night creatures... What? Night creatures are weakened? Are you serious? Surely not. With whom do you want to meet? Alright, so... Let's take a look here. Okay, so there we are. Okay, so I have five shadows. 
And that was that was literally it. Okay, so we have the Drow here. The Delthusum Empire, if they have not renamed them. No, no, the Delthusum Empire are exactly the same. And we have the House of Kenurden, who are the Drow, of course. And we have a number of other factions here, the Riders Majocracy. If you are not familiar with the various factions, I'm just going to go through some of them here. The Dokohan, Cold Off Alliance, they are the Elves. And then, of course, we have the Dwarves in the northwest here, near the Nords. And then, of course, we do have the Orcs. We have the Orcs over here. Things have been changed rather considerably because, as you can see, there's actually a small contingent of Blazing Hand, Delthusum Empire, and Bleeding Throat Clan very, very close to each other. That's interesting. And obviously the Blazing Hand are over here. So that that is interesting. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Well, first off, I want to go in and change Fantasy 2017 settings. Whoa, okay, there's a huge amount of stuff. If off, there can be no crafting, guild learning, or harvesting. Default is disabled. Epidemics? If enabled, cities and villages can have epidemics, and your party can heal from their effects. Okay. Why, why don't we do that? Sure. Horse speed limitation. I have no idea whether I really want to do anything about these. Dodge enable. Enable magic. Cleric spells. Magic defense. Stealth check. Yeah, there's all kinds of really, really awesome stuff going on here. What is this? Regale timers and triggers are on? Huh. I actually don't know what that means, but maybe we'll find out as time goes on. Okay, so diplomacy preferences. Enable disguise system. Enable NPC complaints. No, thank you. I, I'd like to take those off, thanks. And there's a whole bunch of other things going on there. Wow. Okay, so... I think it's take an action, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Whoa, there's so much stuff. Turn off alignment clashes. Actually, I don't have to do that. I'm going to just do this. I want to check. Yes, use your necromancy skills. There we go. Okay, I can't do that. I can't do that just yet, apparently, for some reason. Why can I not do that? Oh, that's a bit weird. All right, well, let's go down to the Delta from Empire. We're going to try and, uh, you know, see if we can recruit a couple of people. I'd like some mummies. And there's an old tomb here. What is this? Mummy footman. Shall we try? Shall we try and attack the old tomb? I think we should probably try and do that after we have retrieved a couple of units. I, I gotta say, I'm really, really excited to see how this goes because the original Fantasy Radio was such a massive favorite of mine. And of a lot of people, actually. And having this 2018 version come out is just absolutely fantastic. Look at this. It is the first time you reach this location. You receive 33 experience. And you also get some gold. Oh, awesome. That's really, really cool. Okay, so this village has no specialty. Has no specialty. Okay, so apparently villages can now have specialty. So I would assume various goods like bread or I don't know, maybe something like that. Anyway, let's recruit some mummies. Thank you. How much mon money do I have? 1500. Nice. Do I still have to pay my undead units? I'm actually unsure about that. Okay, so let's see. Can I actually use my necromancy? Yes, I can now use my necromancy skills. Fantastic. All right, so I'm going to create skeletons. I believe skeletons are the ones that do ranged damage, I think. Retire, check armor classes of gear, initialize diplomacy if this is an old save game. Okay, no, that's absolutely fine. All right, so yes, as you can see, we have skeleton warrior. Ah, okay, so we do get different infantry and cavalry as well. So I'm going to just rename this to cavalry, and we're going to be using some mummies as well. Ooh! This is awesome. This is really, really fun. I'm, I'm extremely excited to see how we go here and where we actually go and what we do. Oh. Well, now I'm not very excited. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, and I'm very, very damaged. You know why I'm damaged? Yeah. Yeah, I think you know. All right, so let's have a look at no spell book. No, no, I haven't got any spells to speak of. I have a staff. Things are not going to go well for us right here. Yes. Me saying, oh, I'm very interested to see where it goes. This is where it's going. Yes. 
This is where it's going. Okay, come on now. Let's try and see if I can do a little bit of damage. A little bit of damage. Come on now. Wow, I am awful at fighting. I have no power strike. Do bear that in mind. Okay, come on. Come on, guys. Let's... Uh, it's, it's, Oh, yes. Okay. C could I maybe just kill someone here and then maybe pick up their weapons? Because that might make sense. Maybe I can do a nice thrust at someone? Oh, my. Yeah. Okay, well, at least I can just watch the battle. I think we're actually doing pretty well, considering. I mean, some of our shadows are, of course, dying, but that is to be expected. But I think we might actually win? No, no, I, I, no, actually, no, we're, we're probably not going to win. Are we? Okay, I'm going to retreat now, because we've killed quite a few of them. And, whoa, okay, that was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. Okay, so these guys just came out of nowhere, and they were like, hello there. Yeah, so let's see if I can run away from them. I am moving at a faster speed, so that's nice. All right, so, you know what I'm going to do? I'm literally going to stay in Ashfield Castle, and I'm going to just try and summon a bunch of units basically that's all i have to do literally that's all i have to do as a necromancer we're going to try and do that at least so let's get some of those footmen and i'm going to be waiting here for some time until what can i not wait here for some time yes thank you okay that's exactly what i wanted to do great all right so as you can see we are now speaking to master jojoan or jojoan or whatever his name may be but he is a master mage, yes. We are now in the Obsidian Spire, which is the main town of the Delthusum Empire, and they have a mage's guild, and so that is where I, uh, that's where I am right now. I would like to see which spell scrolls are available for purchase. I would like to buy a spell book, or I want to learn the ways of arcane magic. So, let's have a look. I do see you have some potential. You must first read this book and get yourself acquainted with the elements and the weave. I will need a donation of 2,000 dinars for it, though. Ah, unfortunately, I don't have that money. Okay, so what else do you have? Ooh, look at this. They got some new stuff right here. Magic Missile, Acid Arrow, Vampiric Bolt, Slow, Flame Arrow, and Chaos. The Chaos spell is said to have been designed by a mad wizard who peeked into the core of the ever-changing plane of Limbo. The enchantment brings mind unbalance to all affected creatures and causes them to act very erratically. This potentially disrupts all manner of organization on the battlefields and makes them much easier to deal with. The scroll costs 6,000. All right, so yeah, unfortunately not able to do that. Could buy a spell book? Aha, okay, so the spell book is about, uh, about 1,000. I don't know why I was going to say 6,000, but yes, it's about 1,000, which is pretty good. Now let's take a look. Aha, my smoked fish is actually pretty good. Seems takes quite a while to get that all down. Can I join the feast? No, I cannot, unfortunately. Okay, I'm going to have to... Uh, I'd like to take a walk around the streets to meet the guildmaster, because I'd eventually like to go and purchase a weavery and dye works here, or at the very least, some good enterprise, whatever it may be. Now, you can see the environments have also changed a little bit. So you can see they have some mushrooms here, some glowing lights, and of course they have, I think, changed the outside of the town in question. So that's pretty cool. They've got some skulls here as well. All right, hello. I don't know what this cleaning cleric list is all about. I don't know what's going on there. But I'd very much like to see where the guild master is. And I suppose exploration is the name of the game here. Ah, Door to the Arena. Oh, well, that's nice. But you can see the amount of work that has gone into making this town into an actual breathing, living area for the undead. Amusingly enough, though, the armorer is a human female, so I suppose there is still a little bit of a little bit of things to be done. But obviously, they could just be they could be captives, or they could just be you know people that are helping us out a little bit, you know? You never know. So, let's see. Is that the guildmaster up there? I think that's probably the guildmaster. Isn't it? I mean, he's surrounded by mushrooms and skulls on spikes. Yeah, there we go. That's him. Do you have a job for me? Desert bandits. You know, I really don't want to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Do you know of any towns with epidemics? 
I lost a thousand. What? I lost a. Uh, no, I lost a hundred dinars. Okay. There is an increasing epidemic going on in th these places. So, epidemics are apparently very, very dangerous. So, I need to be a bit careful about that. Aha! So, as you can see, I can get a Weavery and Dye Works here for 12,000 Aurums, which is actually not that much at all. And it gives us 1,800 a week, which is fantastic. So, what about an Iron Works? That is not good at all. That gives me 50. Wow. That's, that's pretty bad. Okay, so at least I've met that guy now. So let's take a look at some of the gear here. Because what I'd like to do is get a really, really nice weapon as soon as possible. Ooh, yes. I think I've actually just remembered the best way to make money in uh, Fantasy Cal Radio. The Orcs have amassed an enormous army and are planning on plundering and conquering it all. Yes, thank you very much for letting me know about that. Anyway. Is it still available? Yes, it is. The Four Ways In. Now, if you go to the Four Ways In and you invest in the Gnomish Bank, if the Gnomish Bank is still here, then it will eventually give you so much money that you don't even need to worry about, you know, food, troop wages, anything like that. So that's hopefully going to happen. Anyway, I need to now find these bandits. That's going to be a bit difficult, I think. Alright, so I thought it was about time for us to actually get into a battle that I really just wanted to do instead of being pounced on by an opponent. Anyway, the 36 units that we have right here are mostly skeletal and zombie units. Now these guys, they're not going to be very good, okay? So if we, you know, if you see a bunch of units dying, then you're going to have to get used to that because... Playing a necromancer, especially considering I'm going to be employing quite a lot of summoning units, are is really going to mean that we will we are definitely going to have a massive amount of casualties in every single battle. And so let's just try and let's try and prepare ourselves for that now, because most of the time, getting a bunch of casualties is usually not the way to go. But as a necromancer, I suppose it doesn't really matter because. In general, the only thing you're losing is time. Because you can just wait at a town, a castle, wherever, and you can continue to summon units. And speaking of summoning units, I am going to need, and I mean need quite badly, a way to restore our HP a little bit quicker than what we are currently used to. Because at the moment, I'm able to... Regenerate in about two days, maybe it maybe a, a day or two and that's that's pretty bad That is pretty bad. It takes me a long time to restore our HP back to 95 or so percent because I think that is about the time when you can actually summon some units so If I can find a medic reasonably quickly or if I can spec into surgery myself Which is actually not surgery wound treatment myself then obviously that is probably the way to go but for the most part you really don't want to be doing that because your undead units I don't think maybe it's changed but I don't think they get affected by surgery or anything like that so yeah it's gonna be a bit interesting okay so unfortunately it seems like I can't update management of the NPC equipment as you can see here it doesn't seem to make any difference it's probably because I don't have Wow did you see that modifier just there it's probably because I don't have any Huh, yeah, I don't have any companions at the moment, so I don't know whether you saw that But there is a magic modifier. So this is obviously is set in place to prevent People from equipping extremely heavy armor as a mage and then having you know having that armor be Really really good and then preventing them from dying obviously now, the thing with that is that I'm actually not really caring about magic at the moment. So, I'm going to wear everything I can. Literally going to wear everything I can, try and make myself reasonably difficult to kill. And then, once we've got enough money and items and all that sort of thing, we'll decide to go from there and see what we can do about 
you know, actually getting some proper things. There you go. You raise one zombie from the remains of your enemies. This is exactly why I love the Necromancer class, because you're able to do so much. But bear in mind, it's said at the very beginning that the Necromancer is one of the most difficult starts. So that is definitely something to keep in mind. Anyway, let us make our way over to one of the other villages, and we're going to try and get some more mummy units if we can. I haven't seen the bandits, by the way. Don't know where they are. No idea. So that's a bit weird. Anyway, let's go in here, recruit. Yes. Oh yeah, by the way, these are the specialties, and that's what they mean by the specialties of the villages and things like that. They sell certain items for a reasonably low price. So for example, you can buy tools for 323 here. Now, that's buying one for 323. I'm not entirely sure if that's actually going to sell for a lot more. I mean, I have some tools here that technically sell for 381. I don't know how effective that is. So shall we go over to the Obsidian Spire? And let's see. Oh, look at that. Your sa savings of the Nomish Bank are now 55 dinars. Oh, I see. So apparently we already have a little bit in the Gnomish Bank already. So as you can see, we could sell some tools for 385. So I could buy some tools for 323 and then just sell them for 60 profit, which is really not very good. So we're probably not going to be doing that too often. Ooh, that's a much better weapon than what I was using. Don't know why I was using the other one. I suppose this one is much better in terms of speed, but otherwise, yeah, probably just going to be using this one. All right, so pretty good. Pretty good amounts of money that they have. I'm actually going to keep this surcoat right here because you never know when you're going to come across a companion. There's a nice 1,100 right there. Let's go into the tavern, see if there's someone here that I can... I'm moving very slowly. Is there a reason why I'm moving slowly? Is it because I'm wearing heavy armor? Huh. That's... Interesting. I, I I do have seven strength. Huh. Okay, that's that's very weird. Let's go into the mages. I am. Did I press a button? Oh no. Did I did I actually press the walk button? Oh, well, I have leveled up, so I suppose I should do that. But wait a minute. Did I press the walk? Is there a walk button? Oh no. Oh, what if I haven't? And what if things are not going to go well now? Oh dear. That's not very good. Okay, so let's just continue to go to the various villages. Maybe we'll see something that we want to get. And I am at 100% now, so I should probably use our necromancy skills. Let's create some skeletons. Your relations with the necromancers improve. Interesting. Okay, that did not happen in previous versions of Fantasy Cal Radio. So I don't know where the necromancers are. But I'd very much like to know, maybe I'm missing an additional faction? Doesn't seem like it. I'm just going into the, all the edges of the map here because you never know. Maybe they've hidden away some secret faction that I haven't found yet. Well, that's crazy. Nope, seems like they haven't. But that makes me very curious. It does make me very curious indeed. Okay, so let's go continue to... Go over here, and I have 82 space. There we go. Let's recruit some more and sell iron for a low price. How much? 208. I'm not entirely sure if that's any good, but maybe it is. Okay, so let's go in here. Just, you know, get some experience. And aha! There are the Desert Bandits. Come back here, Desert Bandits. They're moving at 6.8. We're moving at 6.7. We are a little bit slower. This is not good. Maybe I should get rid of some of my zombies. Let's get rid of some of my zombies. Maybe I'll go a little... Yep, I'm going much faster now. Good. The zombies were keeping us very, very slow. Okay, there we go. Yes. We're going to catch them. Gotta catch them all. Because that's, that's what I'm going to reference right now for some reason. Don't know why. Come on now. Let's do this. Oh, it, it's... Please please don't escape. Please don't get killed by... Oh, no! Come on now. Reinforcements from Kaliut. I'm not going to get the... I'm not going to get the credit for this. Yes. They defeated them. Or something. 
Okay, there we go. We're going to catch him. Yes, there we go. We got him. This must be your lucky day, mate. We're just about the worst people you can run into in these parts. <laughs> yeah. For me, you are nothing more than walking money bags. A merchant in the Obsidian Spire offered me good money for your heads. A bounty hunter. Kill him. Ah. Yeah. So this is going to be pretty cool because now, now I have some gear. And we have some pretty decent units. Well, not the greatest units, but we have some okay ones. And we should be able to deal with these guys relatively easily. I mean, we outnumber them so heavily, it cannot go any way but a victory for us. But they do have mounts. So bear that in mind. They do have mounts. So we might be in for a little bit of bother here. Maybe. But do you, you see how much more damage I'm doing? Insane amounts of damage right now in comparison to before. But I'm moving slow still. Look at this. Still moving slow. I actually wonder whether I actually did press on a walking key. So I'm probably going to have to try and find out what the keybinds are and see whether I am actually pressing the walking key by mistake or whether it is literally just because I have a low strength and the armor is causing me to move slower. Maybe I should take it off and see what's actually going on with that. Anyway, I have no prisoner management right now, which is unfortunate. We are supposed to be an evil character, so, you know, having prisoner management is certainly something that we will definitely need. So let's just equip this better shield. The size is not very good, but we'll just have to deal with it. All right, nice, nice. All right, so let's let's see what we can do here. Shall we? Shall we just go upwards? What I would like to do is go into our camp, actually. Can I go into camp? I'd like to be able to go into camp. That would be kind of nice. Nope, seems like I can't. So maybe I'm going to have to go to Yamayad Castle. Let's just try this out for science, just so you can see it as well. Because I'm sure you want to see. No? No, I, I don't want to request a meeting with someone, but I would like to... Oh, okay, apparently they're... Not allowing me to go inside because they don't like us being a necromancer. That is not too good. That is not too good. Okay, so well, let's just be a little bit careful here because you never know. You might be attacked by something, anything. Look at this. I already have an army that is basically the same as one of these vassals. But bear in mind that these vassals are going to be much, much more powerful than I am right now. Wow. Okay, so apparently I'm not able to go into any of these towns. So that's new. That's very, very new. So let's go into the village center and see whether I can run. Yes, I can. Okay, so strength has a massive effect on whether you're able to run really fast. So I'm going to be increasing our strength a little bit here. And I'm actually half tempted to go for unarmed fighting. Literally. Because I think that could be really fun. But yeah, anyway, let's just improve our one-handed weapon proficiency. And at least we know now that the the armor is the reason why we're moving very very slowly the only unfortunate thing about necromancy units is that they are absolutely awful when it comes to having any kind of level up and any kind of experience gain so we're gonna have to be a bit careful about that in future because we can get outmatched very very easily anyway that will be it for this episode i thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time